Hi everyone, I'm Igor Zharikov, senior site code developer at Grimit. And today we are going to review how to integrate Sidecore forums and Sidecore send together. So let's briefly check the agenda of this presentation. Firstly, we'll check what is, not actually what is Sidecore forums, but briefly review it. I hope it's a well known tool for everyone here, so we won't focus that much on it. Then we will check typical integration scenario with Sidecar forums and some other third party services. After that, we will review Sidecar send list and segments. Um, this is the target system where we're going to send our data. Um, so to do it, to send this data, to implement this, we need to review, to inspect Sidecar send API, and then we will check the integration between Sidecar forums and Sidecar send itself. Uh, after that, I will show you the demo and answer your questions. So Sidecar forums, uh, it's an application which enables you to quickly create forums by using standard or custom elements. It's a well-known tool for every Sidecar developer and it's used almost on all Sidecar projects. It allows content editors to create and manage dynamic forums in Sidecar with standard and custom fields. And uh, for us, the most important thing here is the custom submit action. So it's a common situation where um, that we need some custom uh, form uh, behavior. So we implement a custom submit action to process data and send it to some service. So usually integration with some other service is pretty obvious. In a custom submit action, we get data from, from the form itself using form submit context object. Then we map this data to some specific model and send it uh, via HTTP request. Then the data somehow processed or just stored on other service. Uh, in, our, in our scenario, it will be that user will be added to mailing list and maybe some post-processing will be started like adding to um, automation campaign or user will be somehow segmented. Um, and now let's focus on site consent. It's again, it's a target system where we're going to uh, integrate Sidecar forms. Um, so let's review how users are organized there. The starting point is email list. So here are um, here all customers are stored. Sidecar send allows uh, to add customer to mailing list uh, managed status. Customer, customers can appear in mailing list via Sidecar send tracking library. So you, you need to add some tracking JavaScript code to achieve it via API. Uh, we'll review it later. Import, uh, we'll, we'll also check how it works or just manual from admin panel. And in our integration with Sidecar forms, we're using uh, API, so we use HTTP API. So next one is uh, uh, another section of the list is opt-in settings. So it's possible to configure opt-in settings. Uh, there are three options here, single opt-in, soft double opt-in, and strong. Uh, double opt-in. So what does it mean? The single opt-in means that uh, we just need to add user uh, to some email list and then we can include this user as a recipient for any campaign. We don't need the confirmation. Uh, strong double opt-in means that 
user can receive emails and email will be sent to the user only after the confirmation. Uh, we will get the confirmation from user and soft double opt-in means that the user will be shown as not verified, but um, but we but we can keep sending emails to that user. So the email is sent, confirmation email, and we keep uh, sending emails to that user. Uh, you can choose uh, what what you prefer and what you, uh, what is better for you with your you know, maybe privacy policy and some other legal stuff. And also in the section confirmation email could also be managed. Also, SiteCosent provides ability to add custom field for a list for a customers. Uh, so the default one are email name and mobile. Also, text can be added to the customer. Uh, but you, you, you can also add some custom fields. So you can select, uh, you have an option to select one of five types of the field. So it's text, date, number, single, select dropdown, and checkbox. Uh, and those fields together with uh, out of the box fields can be populated manually from admin panel or by API. And also those fields can be used in the, uh, in the emails um, using personalization text. So, and the personalization tag is also shown uh, near each uh, field in, the, in this table. Uh, another tool is segmentation. It's a really good tool to target specific group of customers in your campaign. Um, so Sitecos Send comes with some predefined rules to create a segment from list such as uh, double opt-in verified, campaign clicked, product purchased, not opened any campaign in the last mm, 30 days and so on. You can create a custom segment rule based on user fields like text, custom fields and so on, or based on user behavior. Uh, date added, number of campaigns clicked, device type, or the total. And then created segment can be used in campaigns. So when the time comes to define the recipient of the campaign, you will have the option to either select the entry list or any of its previously created segments. And again, that's cool that set percent comes with some predefined templates. So you have a choice either use a predefined template to segment users from list or create your own rule. Um, SiteCosend also provides REST API to their services. So through the Musent mailing list API, you can create new lists, sub subscribe new users to existing lists, uh, manage segments, and create or delete custom fields. It also supports fetching list statistics such as number of active or unsubscribe uh, members, as well as retrieving subscriber information for a specific mailing list. Um, also, Musen have C Sharp wrapper library for that API which can be used as a Nougat package in the application. Actually, this wrapper is pretty old. Uh, in the Git wrapper, it was updated five years ago last, last time. So it misses a few new features, but it's a good starting point as well. Uh, and also by default, SiteCosend API is provided as a Blueprint specification. Um, but I don't think it's a well-known specification. It's not very useful uh, to use it for testing for playing with this API in a tool like Postman. So another site code developer 
uh, Neil Killen wrote an article about how to convert the specification to much more convenient Postman collection. Um, so here I leave all the links and uh, QR codes to get started using Sitecosend API. Um, let's review some important endpoints. The first endpoint which we will review and uh, which we actually use in our integration is to get all mailing lists endpoint. So as you can see here, we have, uh, we need to perform just uh, get HTTP request. We have some base URL. We need to specify format. It can be either XML or JSON. And we also need to obtain API key. Uh, with your account, it's uh, out of the box uh, option. So you just need to go to, account, to your account settings and copy your API key and you will be able to use this API. Um, so after we, we, we will perform this request, uh, as a result, all mailing lists are returned with uh, some list information like ID name and also, I hope, I'm not sure is it uh, shown good here, but it, it is also included um, custom fields definition. So we have an array of custom fields which were added to some specific list. Uh, and uh, yeah, on, on this slide, you can see uh, how API response and uh, admin panel results are corresponds one to each other. Another important point is to get subscribers from particular particular list. Um, to do it, we need to, again, we need to obtain API key. And we also need here my list ID. It can be copied manually if we know that we just need some, some specific list, some particular list. Uh, we can copy it from admin panel or we can uh, get, this and, uh, get this ID from previous endpoint where we have listed all mailing lists. Uh, and after that, we can easily get lists of subscribers with all details, result information, um, like, uh, like name, email, text, and custom fields. And here is also on this slide, uh, it's shown the response from them, uh, from the API and the, uh, the information which can be viewed in the Sitecore uh, Sitecore Sent admin panel. Another important point is uh, is an endpoint which allows us to add a new subscriber to a list or update existing one. Uh, so here we have post request. Uh, we use the same parameters as in previous uh, request, it's mailing list ID, format, and API key. Uh, and also here you can see the body. So fields like email and name are out of the box fields. So they're specified on the root level of the request model. And all custom fields are listed in the model as a list of string, st strings, each element of list is represented uh, as uh, as a string, which is separated to uh, equal sign. So on the left side, we have a custom field name. And after equal sign, we have custom field value. And also uh, tags are specified also as a list of strings. Uh, and the same at endpoint can be used to update user information, but it's important to know that uh, to update user information, we only actually need to specify email and all other fields are optional. And 
um, if so and only specified fields will be updated so if any field like out of the box fields or custom fields want to be included in the request uh, body then those fields will be unchanged um, also funny fact uh, i didn't found a way to remove text from subscriber so try to specify empty array null as a value or array of uh, null string but it doesn't work so now i use some if i need to do it via api i use some dummy value for text if this if all all text needs to be removed so for example just a string unspecified or undefined um, so if someone who is watching this presentation now or later knows a way to do it feel free to contact me it would be nice to know it Um, also, Zetco Send can be used just as SMTP server. Uh, so to send custom emails uh, out of Zetco uh, Send platform, the connection details uh, enable or disable can be used, can be found in account settings. Uh, so in this uh, settings, direct SMTP, you can find hostname and port also SMTP username and the password, but they're just the same credentials which you're using when you logging in to a site consent admin panel. And from this side, site consent can also be used together with Sitecore. We just need to get the SMTP configuration and patch uh, Sitecore configuration with this custom SMTP server. Also for production usage, to ensure that mails won't come to spam and sender will be resolved as trusted. Uh, the main key identified mail and sender policy framework should be configured. All details how to do it uh, can be found uh, also in account settings. So, well, now we reviewed um, site consent, uh, what, it, what it allows us to, uh, how, it be, how, how it can be used. So now let's see um, how site confirms and site consent can be integrated together. So I see the following scenario. Uh, we create a custom submit action. It can be named at user to site consent list. It should add user to specified list. And also ideally it should also be able to map custom fields from site consent to site confirm fields or vice versa. Uh, then as soon as user is added to site consent, user processing is continued in MUSENT. It can be the following scenarios like automation can be started or user is added to segmentation and later receives some campaign. Uh, and another option is uh, to send the mails based on form data using uh, site consent as MTP server. So let's focus on submit action and mapping form data. So let's review the mapping itself. There is no issues with mapping uh, when the form is small and the field set is defined and fixed. We can just uh, get form field by uh, search form values uh, by name, put them into model and set it to external service. Uh, so you can see an example of it when we have only email first name and last name we can just uh, specify somewhere uh, as a constant uh, form field names get those fields from the form and send uh, this data to the external service 
But as was mentioned previously, Sidecar Forum is a tool to manage dynamic forums. So the keyword here is dynamic, and Sidecar Send also support custom fields. So it can be a situation when the forum is extended and the list as well. In this case, we are either need to change submit action each time forum is changed or implement some more conf configurable way to map data between systems. Uh, fortunately, it's possible to implement this with Sidecosend API described previously and also custom forums editor. So implement, um, implementing custom editor is a bit tricky, especially when it comes to some complex editor, but Sidecar provides some documentation with example of custom speak editor control. Uh, I won't focus uh, on steps for creating custom submit action editor. So I will just leave the link to the, to the documentation here. And it's also a good idea to check out of the box custom form, uh, custom submit action editors implementation to create a new one custom. So um, to have this dynamic mapping, we load um, all site cross and mailing lists via API. Um, and all those lists are specified on the top dropdown uh, after and, and content editor should uh, choose the list which, uh, to which user should be added. And after that, the mapping between Sidecar send properties and Sidecar forum fields needs to be uh, configured. Out of the box fields uh, are not changed. So those fields are email, name, and text. Uh, they uh, stay the same for all lists, but uh, below them, all custom fields, custom properties are listed and they're unique for each uh, selected list. And yeah, in each dropdown in this mapping section uh, cons uh, consists of sidecar forum fields. Uh, and the result, the result ma mapping is saved in JSON format into parameters of submit action. And the submit action itself is uh, working in the following way. It takes the list from the mapping. Then it takes properties uh, mapping from submit action parameters. Uh, you can see example of uh, saved parameters, saved JSON uh, on the left side. So the mapping key is field name from site consent. <coughs> and the value is field ID from site form. Uh, then the model is created based on data provided and customer is added to as a subscriber to a specified list uh, using Musant API. So now let me show you the demo. Yeah, so we will start with Sidecar Send and specifically with uh, email lists. Uh, so here are all email lists uh, appears. Uh, we have some information like opt-in types and we can add some labels if we have uh, lots of email lists. So we can later filter by this label for our integration, I'm using this custom sidecar integration list. So here we have some statistics 
on the main page of the list. Another page is uh, view all members. So here are all subscribers of the email list are listed here. We can see the source, the status, uh, double opt-in status, some tags. You can also go to the specific uh, subscriber information to check uh, default field values out of the box uh, and custom as well. Another section is to perform bulk actions. Here we can import uh, new users, uh, delete, um, or perform some other bulk operations. So let's let's review import, which is probably the, one of the most popular operation which is required. Uh, so we have um, a few options here import from CSV or txt file, Excel file, plus some raw text, and even some plugins with Google Contacts and Salesforce plugin. Uh, for this demo, I prepared uh, just an Excel file. So let me open it. Uh, so here we just have a simple table with uh, with three columns, a mail name and text. Uh, it's pretty simple, so let's let's try to import it. So we need to select Excel file, then we have to choose our customers file. And on the next step here, we, we should specify the mapping between imported source and uh, current fields in the list. So email is uh, detected automatically. And for the name, we should specify. And as you can see, this toggle is on at the moment. And for text, we have uh, special action add as text. Then click next. And on the last step, we can configure the notification settings. So I, I want to be notified when the import will be completed and I want to receive uh, the status, the result of the import process to my account domain. So click import and yeah, I see this message that, that, that I requested import and it will be queued and I will be notified as soon as it will be completed. So we will go back to it uh, later to return that it's actually working correctly. But now let's review uh, another section. It's set your settings. So here we are able to manage uh since for subscribe and unsub unsubscribe for from a list so we can specify our custom unsubscribe page here uh, to choose opt-in sessions which i uh, discussed discussed previously and the here is the confirmation email uh, and in this email, we can use as well some personalization tags. So let me show you, for example, at the moment we have uh, hey there, um, but we don't want, we, at least we want to make this confirmation email a bit more personalized email. So we want to use uh, where is it? Yeah, recipient name. So, uh, hey, some username. We can save it. Yeah, okay, we need to confirm. We can reload to make sure that the changes were saved. Yeah, they're actually saved. So, we will review how it works a bit later. Um, another section is for creating the custom fields, managing custom fields. 
Um, so here we we can add a new. We'll do it later. I will show you how to do it. And uh, review already created existing ones. Also, we have uh, another section which is called segments. So here, uh, as was mentioned previously, we can create a new segment, or I can just open already created segment. Uh, it's a simple rule configure it here. So we check for a tag that contains technologies. And so only uh, only subscribers with technologies tag should come to this uh, segment. I can also preview the members and perform some other operations like uh, expert, uh, yeah, expert to CSV or Excel file. So let's go back to, yeah, actually we have for some reason only two. Okay, I can check it later. Maybe the Excel file or some data was uh, not validated correctly. Mm, but those, yeah, but uh, last two uh, customers are added here. The source is. Uh, bulk subscribe action. So it means that the, those customers were imported. They're not verified, uh, but we're okay with it. And also all tags are added as, it, as they were specified in the list. And I can filter, uh, actually this, this user is added. Probably it was added previously somehow uh so all the cr newly created users or updated users uh, now f from the excel file now have this excel tag so i don't know how to clear it okay i can go just view all members yeah. Uh, and now we can go to Sidecar Forums implementation. So here is the forum. It's pretty simple forum. It consists of uh, two pages. The first one is the forum itself, and the second page. Uh, is just thank you message page to which user will be redirected as soon as uh, formally submitted successfully. We have a few fields here. And one of the most important things here is uh, our cust is custom submit action. It's a single custom and this sent mail is out of the box action. Uh, we can start with it. So this uh, this submit action just sent an email via Sitecore configured to SMTP. In our solution, I configured it to use uh, Sitecore send SMTP. So we can use some uh, some form fields here. So we send in. Uh, this email to provided email in form to specify from subject and uh, by the way we have also this hello name so we'll check is it actually working correctly and this is the custom submit action uh, which have uh, so this is the custom editor and this submit action should add subscriber to a mailing list. And on the first step, we should select a mailing list from the from Musant. So 
you can see that uh, we have all those new lists, five lists here with perfume, subscriber, sidecar integration, and all of them are here. We can even add a new list. Uh, test forms integration. So now we have six lists and if I will just reload, uh, this, this newly created list is also appearing here. So for as soon as I switch between lists, you can see that the, the first three fields are stay unchanged. Those are others box fields and the fields below them are custom fields and they're changing. So for the test, uh, create custom fields for the test list name, we have the test field and it appears here. And now let me show you that we will create a new list or a new field for our sidecar integration. So I wanna to create a checkbox field which is called is business account. Uh, so checkbox. Uh, I don't think that this field is actually required, and I don't want to make this field hidden. So this new field is created. It listed there, and. When I reopen the editor, this newly created field is appearing here. But we don't have the moment uh, mapping for this field, so let's add also checkbox field. Uh, yes, there. Let's be right under email. So we'll choose the label as I am business account uh, is business. Uh, yeah, checked now and yeah, we can leave everything as it is now. And then we can specify this new field here. This new field mapping is business account to is business. Uh, again, sorry again, is business account custom site consent field to is business form field. Okay, apply and save. Yeah, here we go. Uh, now let's review the parameters of, sub of custom submit action. So this is a user to mailing list. Uh, in parameters here we have some JSON. So let's use this formatter to format this JSON. And here as it was mentioned is what, as it was presented in previously in the presentation, we have a list edit which subscriber needs to be added. And then we have some mapping. So we have email, name, text, birthday, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and on the right side, these, those values are sidecar form field IDs. So at the moment, the form is not published. This is uh, uh, the, the host, uh, the actual page. So there is no this newly created checkbox. So let's publish this form. Okay, let's reload yeah, the, the checkbox now appearance here. So to let, let let's test that it's actually working. So I'm using uh, 
some disposable email. Let, let it be that I am business account uh, name. Let it be why not actual Kevin. Uh, let the first date will be Saturday first of December. Um, just Kevin and I'm reviewing site course and integration integration and let be my interest technologies and education so I'm subscribing yeah I have this success message here and now we can wait for emails or maybe firstly we can go here yeah, actually here this uh, new customer is already added and can we receive our emails actually we should receive two emails here one from uh, which is sent from Sitecore via SMTP maybe refresh uh, and another one should be yeah we have it and another one is a confirmation email for double opt-in settings so let's let's check the first email this email comes from sitecore forums uh, so we specified that here should appear the name of the user which is provided in forum and this mail is sent via Sitecore sent SMTP. So the uh, Sitecore sent adds one click unsubscribe in case if we don't want to receive those messages anymore. And even more, Sitecore sent contains out of the box default list transactional campaign recipient. Uh, and this customer just without text, without all this name and custom field information, just an email is added here because we sent an email to this uh, to this customer via Sitecore sent. So that's why it appears in out of the box uh, mailing list. And if we go back to our our main integration list, here we have this uh, Sinono, yeah, it's Sinono, Sinono customer with the source of API integration because we added this user via set uh, Musant API. It's that is active, but double opt-in is not verified. The tags are actually the same as we specified in the form. So that it was education and technologies. Uh, also have here the name Kevin. Birthday is sent correctly. It's uh, 31st of December. Notes are mapped also correctly tell uh, more information and this business account is checked as we check it on the forum. To make this user verified, when you go to, to the confirmation email and confirm confirm our subscription. So I have second email. Uh, as you remember, we're also added not Hazer, but we used personalization tag uh, in this in this confirmation email, and uh, here it appears. So please confirm your subscription intention by clicking here. So we can click here. I hope it will work.
Yeah, it's working. So uh, we have the here success message that we received your consent. And so uh, you are now verified sub subscriber. And here is the status is changed from double opt-in, uh, from not verified, sorry, to verified. So that's pretty much it for the demo. Um, also want to mention that all, all sources for, from this demo are public available. So feel free to visit this uh, repository, my GitHub profile in case if you have uh, any issues with it, feel free to contact me or you can create just some issues, uh, just create issues in GitHub Prepper. And thanks for your time.